All right. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Bold Live. Are you excited? Come on in. Uh, we're just seconds away from this exciting episode of Bold Live with our very special guest, original cast member of The Bold and the Beautiful. She's the one and only Catherine Kelly Lang. So I'm so very excited for all of us to have this time to hang out together. And um, we're going to see, you know what? I've gone into the vault and uh, Kathleen Kelly Lang doesn't even know this. We're going to see some very vintage clips of the Bold and the Beautiful. And she's going to talk to all of you live. So right here on YouTube. So get get comfortable because we're live in three, two, one. And welcome to Bold Live. All right. Another week. Check these out. I got AirPod Pros. So hopefully we're going to have better audio issues. And you probably look behind me. My background's different. I'm in a, I'm in a brand new office here at the Bold and the Beautiful. I've switched offices. I've, we're freshening it up. So, um, yeah, lots of changes. Lots of changes are happening. And uh, lots of changes are happening on the Bold and the Beautiful. It was quite a week. I mean, this was the kind of week that, as Bold and Beautiful fans, we wait all year for. It was like Christmas. It was very, very exciting. And um, I'm, I'm very excited to have Catherine Kelly Lang here to, um, to break it all down. But also, we're going to ask her the number one question that I get from fans is, what do we call her? What do you, how do you say, is it Kelly? Is it Catherine? Is it Le Miss, Miss Lang? So we're going to ask you that question. So when you call in, you'll know exactly how to address our guest today. So without further ado, please welcome Catherine Kelly Lang. Boom. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Can you hear me? It's, oh, see. It could be me. Can you guys hear me? We, we were doing so, we were doing so well. Uh oh, now I, I, lo oh, I lost you. Oh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call her back. We'll call her back. See, this is this is this. This is what this is this is live. But let me ask you guys uh, on there. Can you hear me pretty good? Is my audio good? Okay, thank you, Bruno. You couldn't hear her. No, that's the that's her dressing room that you saw there. Okay, let me call her back. We're going to call her back. Sometimes, you know, it's live TV. You you can you can hear Casey, but we can't hear Kelly. Okay. Well, well she'll, she'll dial us back in. But this gives us a chance for all of you guys to join in on the live. Uh, Kelly's had a very busy week on air and at the studio. It's Friday. We just finished uh, shooting. She went literally from stage to John McCook's dressing room for, you know, a little celebration, cheers, toast. It was a great week. And now she's at Bold Life. So let's try this again. Can you hear you us now? You add me. Oh, there Perfect. you are. Yes. How do you add me now? Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Here we are. Hi, everybody. How are you? Yes. Oh, good. Good. We're on. We're on. Yes. Mona, we're working on those technical challenges. And hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. But this is live. This, if this was a taped show, there wouldn't be any technical problems. But That's you know, this right. is this That's is right. this is this is live TV. Kelly, how was your week? Good. This was a good week. We worked Monday through Friday. I had six shows myself this week for Brooke and had the best time. Still coming off the shows that aired, which are one of the wedding shows at Steffi's wedding. So it was really exciting and everybody was really happy about that and excited to see some of the, you know, Kimberlyn, an old cast member um, from years ago. So that was really exciting for people. So yeah, I'm good. I'm feeling good. It's Friday. Well now, and you can, you're, you're an expert with doing live chats. You do them all the time for your fans on Instagram. So you can see all the fans chatting right now, right? You can see all those. Yes, I can. Hi, Carolina. How are you? Hi, Ella. Oh, Neil, that's so sweet of you. Goo goo gal. <laughs> Hi, Canada. Bold live. Yes, yes. 
I've been watching since 1987. I hear that from so many people that they've been watching from the very beginning. So thank you and keep on watching. Yes. Sure. Yes. Hopefully you'll be watching for another 35 years. Now, <laughs> so Kelly, I, when I started the show, I said, you know, what, what do we call you? And so always people ask when we, when we do the little bus tour that we do every couple of years, I always say, is it, is it Kelly? Is it Catherine? So what do you prefer people to call you? I honestly, I hear Catherine or I hear Kelly and to me, it's all the same, but I was raised, you know, as Kelly even though my first name is Catherine, but my parents called me Kelly since I was a baby. So that's what I'm used to. And I feel more like a Kelly than a Catherine. Although if I feel a little bit more <laughs> regal one night, maybe I'll go with Catherine. But there you go. Kelly's, Kelly's a good way to go. Okay. And you just recently had a birthday. So happy birthday to you. Did you do, did you do anything special for your birthday? Honestly, I just wanted to just do what I normally do. <laughs> I ended up, okay, I woke up early. I went for a ride with my girlfriend. So I did like a two hour ride. I ended up playing with the grandkids, spending the day with them and then relaxing in the evening with Dom. So it was just everything that I would love to do every single day. So it was wonderful. And we just had a relaxing time and didn't go anywhere, you know, I kind of, during the hiatus, wanted to stay local and stay around town. And also we have to keep the store going, the ben, our Ben Hart store and working there and everything. But, you know, it's just another birthday. To me, you just have to celebrate every day, right? You have to do things that you love to do that make you feel alive and make you feel good for yourself. And uh, so that's what I did. Well, uh that's, I mean, and plus we were on hiatus, so you had, uh, you didn't have to worry about working. So that was even, made it even That's better funny. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and I how, know I love working, Casey. I love working. Too. Well, we it's love. A holiday coming to the bold and the beautiful. Well, you don't know anything but working because you've been on the show for almost 35 years. Yeah. It's crazy. Can you believe that? No, it's, um, it's great. I love it. I love, you know how I love endurance sports? Yes. So I think everything in my <laughs> life is about endurance. Like the yeah. longer you can endure and go and keep it up and, and keep doing what you love to do, hopefully you love to do it, you know, well, and uh, every single day that is amazing. Well, Sharon's asking, where's your store? And for those of you who may not follow you or keep up, uh, Catherine Kelly Lang, and her uh, longtime boyfriend, Dom, they run the uh, one of the coolest stores in Beverly Hills called Ben Hart. Ben Hart's on Little Santa Monica. It's like a block and a half from Rodeo Drive, which is the amazing Rodeo Drive that has every incredible designer on that block. But we're just a couple blocks away and come visit. Just look us up. It's Ben Hart and we have the Instagram Ben Hart USA. And you can follow us and we do lives from there every day. We show people product. We talk about it. We have fun and we do special, special things. We do like if you want a custom belt made by Brooke Logan herself, <laughs> oh <my> then <laughs> go to Ben Hart and Brooke will make you a belt. Yes, come in. If you come in, let us know because... We make a point of being there is where Dom is usually there, but I'm not usually there every single day. So if I know people are coming, I like to be there and, and greet them and show them around. So let us know, but you have to go follow us at Ben Hart USA and then let us know in the text. Well, there, maybe one day we'll do, app. we'll do a bold live from Ben Hart. That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, so, so speaking of, uh, you know, that you're here all the time, you've been here for almost 35 years. I want to show our fans a clip because so much of Brooke's history has been with Brooke and Stephanie. So this is a clip, the very first time oh. that Brooke and Stephanie yeah. met. Do you think that that's enough napkins? Yes, that's fine. Uh, Mrs. Forrester, this is my daughter, Brooke. Hello, Mrs. <laughs> Forrester. Hello, Brooke. You have a very beautiful home. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, my voice. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mrs. Forrester. Do you think you have enough napkins? Oh my God. No way. I can't. Oh, that's my 
buddy, Casey. That's Thank where we that's that. where we fell in love with Brooke. That's where we <laughs> fell in love with you. But it's so great that even from that first scene, it just established the, the two dynamics with you and Stephanie yeah. for so long. Yeah. Definitely. Girl from the other side of the tracks and then the rich Bel Air woman that has everything. Yeah. It was interesting. And then from there, you uh you, you I, I don't know if you want to say you stole Stephanie's uh husband, but one of the most iconic, bold and beautiful moments was your wedding. Okay, my question is, were you scared in that hot air balloon? Because you can't really pilot those things. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Okay, the pilot was in there, but every time the <laughs> helicopter had to go around and circle and film us, he had to duck down. But the basket's so small. You, There's no room in there. And there was a cameraman that was ducking down. <laughs> and the guy who runs the balloon was ducking down. And I swear, Casey, I was actually worried because it was so high up. It wasn't like they just went up a little bit and then did all that. They went up as far as they possibly could go. And that's why you wow. have that that view. It was yeah. incredible. But I thought, they don't really go up this high in air balloons. I said, John, I think we're we're a little bit too high. I mean, we were like airplane height. I mean, we were up there. And they did it to get that huge, you know, they did that one big circle with the helicopter and got the view of everything. And it was incredible. It was actually incredible because I did a hot air balloon in South South Africa one time and it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. You kind of skim skim along the bottom, you know, the, the mountains, but also so you can see the animals. But still it never ever went that high. I mean it was incredible. Yeah. I was I was a little scared. Yeah, I have to admit. Well, fortunately it all turned out okay and you guys yeah, it was landed safely and it was yeah. it was a beautiful iconic moment. Now it was. um I want to try something new on this bold live because we have we have a lot of fans watching right now, and I'd love for you to say hi to as many as possible. So all okay. the, so what I want to try this is something we've never done before. If you're a fan watching and you're commenting, go ahead and start typing your name, and then Kelly, I want you to go ahead and uh, just say hi to them as many as possible. Oh, just just go and down we'll the just, list. just okay. just go down the list for you know thirty seconds, and we'll say hi to everybody okay. while I find my AirPod that just fell out of my ear. Okay, I hope this works. I hope this works too. So like let's see. The they're bottom. they're catching up to. We're just a little ahead of them, so we'll see as they catch up. Then we'll start okay. seeing their names. There they go. Hi, Misty. There's Misty. But Misty saying hi to Linda. <laughs> Misty, hi. Darnell, I like Brooke and Rich, Caroline Triangle. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I like that too. That was good. Hi, Mandy. Um, Add up. Who are all these names? I didn't get it. Well, there's Kenny and Lisa and Billy, Rebecca. Oh, I'm supposed to say that. Say hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to say. Hi, yeah, Mandy. Hi, John. Yes. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Tony Carter. Hello from me, Jim. Hello. My name is Roxy. Hi, Roxy. How are you? Mandy, hi Mandy, hi Kenny, hi Gilda, Sassy, hi Mark, hi Lisa, Eugene. hi Mary Beth, hi Eugene, wow, it's going so fast, hi Gervais, Jevras, Jevras, hi Garcelle, hi Chandler, hi Sharon, hi Heather, <laughs> hi Kelly Casey, that's funny, it's, hey, oh, oh. Kelly Casey, I thought that was a name. That's All right, funny. and time, hi, okay, that was excellent, <laughs> okay, and Marcus, hey Marcus <laughs> from Sydney, okay. Here. You just, you've just, ha I don't know how much dialogue you've had to say this whole week, and I just made you read more dialogue. I'm very, that was very, very mean <laughs> of me. Know, okay, so now I want to tell the fans this is the fan hotline number to call. Do you see that number? Mm -hmm. Five, seven, three, three, I don't, I can't see it backwards. Seven, five, seven, nine, nine, two, seven, eight. Yeah, so write that down. We're going to open the phone lines in just a minute, but before we do that, we're going to play a new game here on Bold Live called What Happens Next? So Kelly, <laughs> I'm gonna play a classic clip from The Bold and the Beautiful, okay. and then you're gonna tell me what happens next. For real or make it For up? real, for real, remember. what happened? Well, oh God. I probably don't remember, but. I'll, well, we're I'll gonna try. see, maybe the fans will remember. So yeah, they, here's the classic do. clip. I've 
been your punching bag for years, Stephanie. I didn't invite you into our lives, and you're not a part of our family. Your family? Well, I've got news for you. It's my family, too. Listen, your children may have been fathered by Eric and Ridge, but you will never be a forester. I have something better than the forester name. I have you in the palm of my hand. What you have, <laughs> honey, is luck. And lucky streaks don't run forever. Oh, no. No, it has nothing to do with luck. I have been through hell up until this point. Ever since you met me, you fought me, Stephanie. You even turned Eric and Rich against me. Oh, no, you did that all by yourself. You know, I really thought we were getting along, and I really wanted to believe that. And then I found out it was a scam. You tried to trick me. You tried to keep me off guard. Well, now you're going to get what you deserve, Stephanie. I'm going to throw it all back at you with interest. I'm shaking. Well, you should be. Because I'm going to be right here all the time reminding you exactly what goes around comes around. Now, I think you better just start packing. I am not going any place. Somebody will be here to help you move. This is my office, Brooke. No, it isn't, Stephanie. And I want you to get the hell out. Now. Oh, that's so good. So good. <laughs> so then, what... What has what happens next? Uh, I don't know. Like right now, like right after that scene. Yes. Um, there, I'll give you a clue. I think, I think the security comes in and close. Takes her and all her, okay. Close, but there's the, the the clue is that it's somebody somebody that reappeared this week on air is involved. Oh, she was helping me during that time, right? So she, Sheila, I don't know how she got her, her out of there. Well, we'll take remember... a, that's it. Let's take a look. Let's take a okay, look. So, how's it going in here? What do you want, Sheila? <laughs> or would you rather do this alone? Do what? I'm here to help you move. Over my dead body, Sheila. Any way you like it, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was so apropos for this week, that but that was so yeah. great. So, so that Sheila was, good. Sheila was your friend at some point, but along the yeah. line, you know, long story short, she shot you, which right. I did the fans catch the symmetry there with when, when you dropped the champagne glass, when Sheila came in the door to win, you dropped the milk, hopes milk bottle when she yes. shot you. That was, yes. did they you catch all that? Made comments about that I saw on social media and they loved it and it was set up well so that you know people could understand and, and tie it in and then also didn't you guys play the episode that episode like a week before well we we interspersed it uh with uh, the donna katie scenes and then when you guys were telling uh finn's parents and finn yeah it poor was good poor finn he has no idea what he got himself into <laughs> poor finn poor. and his confused look like what's going on here? okay well the phone lines are on fire I've never, okay. we've got tons of people on the line. Uh, are you ready to talk to the fans, Kelly? Sure. Okay, let's do this. <phone rings> Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Who's this and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Scott. I'm calling from Wisconsin. Uh, what, Scott, what's your name? I am Scott. Scott, say hi to Catherine Kelly Lang. Catherine, I want to thank you. Now we have such a wonderful personality always. Thank you for the charm, the beauty, and the class you add to every single episode. All the fans cannot begin to thank you enough. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Scott. Thank you. That's super nice. Thank you just for how much joy you bring daily. Question for you is, if it wasn't other than Ridge, who would you most want to see your character with? Mm. Um... That is a loaded I, question. That is a really I, hard question. <laughs> How 
can you ask me that? <laughs> well, the, well, the correct <laughs> answer, the, the, probably. The I correct, don't know. the new. <laughs> I, I, my would vote for Nick. I liked Brooke and Nick. That's always my. Yeah, vote. yeah. How, How about, about David, know, the character from the first season? Wow, who's that, Scott? That would be that that police officer that you were involved with in the first season. Dave. Dave was my yeah. first love. He was the, he was yeah. a cop. Yeah, Dave, and I was um, engaged to him, but that quickly ended when I <laughs> when I met Ridge. We should uh, bring we should we should bring Dave back. That would be fun. Well, Scott, thank you so much for calling. I got to get to some more calls. Oh, have thanks, a great, Scott. You both have a great night. Bye bye. You too. Bye. All right. Dave, the police officer, right? That's who it was. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Three guesses. <laughs> Rebecca from San, from San Clemente. Clemente. Yes. Yep. Hey, Rebe everybody yep. say hi to Rebecca. Hey. Hi, Rebecca. And, uh, say hi how to Kelly. Are you? Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Oh, my God. I am so excited to talk to you. As Casey oh. knows, I'm a huge fan of the show. Oh, I've been watching you've been since watching it started too. Yeah. Oh my God, you never change. You still look so good. Oh, I know you guys are in a hurry. My question, my question is, what is your favorite wedding of all time on the show? Um, I just always think of the first wedding with Ridge because it was on the beach in Zuma in Malibu, and I rode the horse down in a big puffy wedding dress, and it was. You know, like a princess fairy tale. And to Brooke, that was, she was so excited. It was like her dream come true. And then all, it all went downhill from there. But, <laughs> but I uh, kind of figured you were going to say that one. <laughs> yeah, that one, that was very, that was sweet. It's so special. iconic. It's so iconic. Yeah. Rebecca, well, thanks yeah. for calling. I know. Any, anything else, You're Rebecca? Welcome. All right. Thanks. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. All Bye. Right. We love Rebecca. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hey, Casey. Hi, Catherine. This is Jamel calling from New York City. Hi, Jamel. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited I get a chance to call in when Miss Catherine's on. This is wonderful. <laughs> nice so, to hear your voice. So are you enjoying the show? Yes, I'm enjoying. I'm, I, I love tonight's show. I, I, I love questions for Kat. I mean, it's so many, um, but I can't. I don't want to hog up the line. Um, for me, I love Brooke. I want to. I want to ask Catherine: Does she love uh, Brooke the character when she is in a more romantic uh, storyline, or does she love when she's battling? And for me personally, I love when Brooke. My favorite relationships of Brooke is Taylor, Stephanie. And Bridget and and Catherine would know because all the beautiful stories she had with him. I love when she's battling. So I want to know for her, does she enjoy when she's um, in romantic situations? You know those sort of arcs, or does she love when she's like down and dirty and just having fun with all the ladies that she used to that she acts with most of the time? I do miss that. I do miss those those crazy scenes with fighting with the women. I miss Stephanie a lot, and um, I just think it was such a good dynamic um but of course i love the romance too you know it's a, a lot about romance i love that but i do love getting down and dirty and just fighting and you know all the drama is, is so exciting for us yeah, she, i love she, me i was gonna say mean brooke is the best brooke i love when and she never was mean she's always she was always you know very smart so it always threw the ladies off sometime when it was like oh my well, god what, what you what know she's doing you know yeah. Well, absolutely. I agree. I've got a clip. I can't play the clip when I have the phone lines open, but I do have a great classic Stephanie Brooke clip that I'll play later. But thank you so much oh. for calling. I want to keep the phone lines going. You have a great weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. That was a good question. I really like that <laughs> question. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Who's this? Where are, you, where are you calling from? Hi, this is Susan Russo, and I'm calling from Las Vegas. All right. And I just wondered how it's going. But you know what? Oh, I just got you guys back. It, my um, iPad keeps buffering. So. But anyways, <laughs> hi, Kelly. Buffering. How are you? Okay. Uh, hi. Yeah, you know, 
you guys are frozen, but now you're not, which is good. We can hear okay. you great, though, Susan. You can? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Talk to Kelly. So, Kelly, what what is the favorite location that that you shot at and you thought, oh, I really like this, you know? I kind of maybe would want to come here again. Well, I have to say Italy was always just so gorgeous and well, I mean, what part I have, of Italy? Well, oh, well. oh my gosh. Um I think we did well, how about, a show in Lake Como, Italy. Here's, that was in oh, Venice. Yes. That was yes. Venice, um Posit uh Portofino. Um wow. Gosh, I can't even remember all the places. We went to Italy more than any place to do location shoots. And it was it's always yeah. just so romantic and so beautiful and just incredible. Wow. That was Monte Carlo. That was also a lot of fun. Monte Carlo yeah, was very oh, fun. I, uh, Australia. Australia was beautiful. I, yeah. Uh, yeah and As a lot of fun. And Aspen. Aspen's a lot of fun. Aspen was fun, too. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to say, but um, it's fun to get out I, I of the building. Hope, yeah. Shoot somewhere really, else. I hope that you know. I, I really do hope that you guys. Uh, well, the forest hopes that somebody, you know, you guys go back on location again. You know, we hope so too. Hope but you know, you, yeah, I really do. The but tough time. Or lot. I want to come see you, Susan. Time. I want to come to Las Vegas. Come to Las Vegas. Oh, get, get a hold of me. Yeah. <laughs> when you come out this way, you absolutely. can show us around. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, thank, Absolutely. Thank hey, you so much you for guys. calling. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Kelly. Bye. Oh, she's great. These are great. You guys are asking really, really good questions. Game. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name's Suzanne. I'm calling from St. Louis. Suzanne from and St. Louis. I just want to let you know. Hello. Yeah. Hello. You have to. <laughs> and I, I've been uh, been watching since day one, and um, every time they have one of those milestone episodes, I'm like, six thousand episodes. I've spent three thousand hours of my life on this show. So wow. every every minute, <laughs> worth every minute. Um, my That's question amazing. is, would you like would you like to see one of your sons come back? And I'm um, R J or maybe the son that we kind of forget about that you had with Nick and Taylor gave birth to it, which was a fantastic storyline. Um, would you like to see one of them come back and interact with one of Sheila's daughters? One of Sheila's daughters. Um, I don't know. Personally, I would just like to have one of my sons come back. I think because it always brings in new story, adds a, a new character. Uh, there's another whole storyline arc, which is really fun. And I was saying, Definitely, I want to see, since Brooke and Ridge are together right now, I want to see their son come back. RJ, I don't really know where he is right now. <laughs> I think Brooke, <laughs> I totally forgot about him. He's at, he's a boarding school. But still. Well, you see, he's where everybody is, at International. Yes. I Forrester he International. Boarding school. Well, in Europe, perhaps. Okay, so he's yeah, at he's... boarding school, but also. But I'm going to say, school. Kelly, you'd like your sons to come back, but maybe younger. You don't want them to be older. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want, that's why RJ, because he's still young. So he would, when he comes back, he'd be like 19, right? Honk and <laughs> create drama or whatever. Exactly. A new, a new love. And so it would be, and stuff for Ridge and me to do as parents, which would be interesting. And so I'd like to see that. Well, thank you, Suzanne, for right. calling. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Y'all have a thank you, you guys too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Are you good on time, Kelly? We'll just we'll take a few more. Yeah. Before, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Oh, I don't think somebody's there. Let me take another one. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Hello? Where are you calling from? Hi, say hi to Kelly. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, it's, I'm, so, I'm so nervous. What's your what's, name? What's your name? Christine. Christine. Christine, hi. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just so nervous to talk to you. <laughs> Me Where too. Are you? Where are you? I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, oh, nice. 
Very nice. <laughs> Oh, how's your day going? Do you have any questions that you want to ask? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, how come Brooke and Quinn don't get along as well as it is on the show? Oh, well. How, how come Quinn and Brooke don't get along? Yes. Uh, well, because well, Brooke doesn't like the way she treats all, Eric. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's Quinn's done horrible things to our family, to Eric, you know, somebody that Brooke loves so much, and he's such a big part of her life, and the father of two of her children. So, you know, and the fact that she treats him horribly, at least Brooke thinks that, and um, she doesn't think that, she thinks that Eric could do better, so. And she yeah, tried to, I think so too. yeah. yeah. I think so, too. I'm glad they had got divorced anyway, because I've I was really upset though when I seen it. Oh, really? Well, yeah, Chris I was really upset because I feel like Eric doesn't need to be with anybody. I feel like he he's happy by himself and stuff with his family and everything. So that was yeah, good. He has a big family, and they're always around him and love him so much. So that should be should be enough. But I could understand that he wants somebody to live with you know so but he picked the wrong person <laughs> that's all he picked the wrong yes. woman well christine thank you so if much for calling okay thank you okay Bye. thank Bye. you for watching so sweet okay we're going to take one more call so this is going to be our final call hi welcome to bold live what's your name where are you calling from my name is my name is James, and I live in Oregon, Ohio. Oregon, Ohio. Hi, James. Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi, um, Captain Hi. Kelly. Lang, how are you? I'm good. How are you, James? Awesome. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say that I'm a big fan of, of, of your you and your show, and I oh. watch y'all every single day, and Thank I always you. like talk to you welcome. And also, I also want to say that my grandmother benny which that we both love watching y'all every day and she's a big fan of your show Aww. as well. well say hi to her you have to say hi to her for oh us. i sure will Aww, oh i sure you. will i'll tell her that you say hi and nice. i have a question yes go okay, ahead okay so okay anyways that i like i like to know um be, Later on the show, be other other than um, everyone was shocked and known that she, she, Sheila Carter uh, claimed that it was Finn's, um, that it was her son. Now, would they, now later, would they show who um, the real parents are, the um, real, the real parents? Like, mm. I don't know how to say this, but right. Of Finn? How to put I think this. Casey would know. Would you know this answer, Casey? Well, I, I, mean, I don't know if we're supposed to tell it. <laughs> well, she, I mean, we we met as adoptive parents, and now we know Sheila's his mother. Are you wondering who's the real father? Oh, yes. Um, I like to know um who's the real um father of um a Finn of a Finn. Okay. He's other than Sheila Carter. Mm. Well. We don't know that yet. I don't know that. Do you You'll know have, that, Casey? Well, it, I uh, well, uh, I may, perhaps. Uh, it's always like when my mom asks me or she tells me things. I, I uh, and then I tell her what's happening, and then she says, "Oh, you don't know what's going to happen." Well, okay. Well, I don't know why. You oh told my me. god! <laughs> but it, but but uh, uh, no, we J uh, James. It's going to be uh, it's going to be real exciting. So you're just going to have to keep watching and. Please say hi to your grandmother, uh, and uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. Okay, I sure will. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Bye. And y'all have a, um, a good day and a good weekend. Keep doing what y'all have been doing, and keep the show going on for a long time. We'll try. But with, with fans like you, we hope, to, we hope to be here a long time. All right, see you later. Yeah. All right. Bye. That was great. All right, well, okay. Kelly, I appreciate you staying on a little bit longer. We've got, okay. I've got one more special guest and she's coming to us from Temecula, California. She's Ooh. been a long time viewer of the show 
And uh, she's also the number one fan of Bold Life. And this oh. is my mother. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. <laughs> Say hi to Catherine Kelly Lang. Oh, hi, Catherine. Hi. hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm All right. Good. Well, I'm I'm loving this bold life. Oh, that's yeah, great. It's so cool. All, All right, Mom. Well, we're gonna have to say goodbye. That's all the time what? we've got. Yep, that's it. An hour and a half on makeup to be on this show. What? <laughs> well, that, that's <laughs> show business. That's show business. Oh, hurry, hurry up and wait. All right. I have a good night. All right. That was so great that she stopped by to say hello. You just exited her. Love, love having my mom on the show. Um, so I want to end our show with one more clip. And this is, this is the mother of all mothers. But this is also one of the best confrontations in the history of the Bold and the Beautiful. That is for lying about your heart attack. How might be a good time for you to leave? Use the back. You bitch! Ow. Oh no, I haven't even begun to give you what you deserve! Your days of bullying me are over, Stephanie. Oh, really? Over? Oh. Oh. Round two. Oh, now that's a slap. <laughs> she. Uh, that's a oh slap. Oh my God. I think that was the one that I had to go to see my chiropractor right after that show that day because my head and neck just like turned all the way around. I, I was like, uh oh, I can't move. <laughs> she had a wallop, that's for sure. Oh, gosh. Love those Stephanie slaps. Oh, yeah. Love oh, yeah. those. Love those. Those are amazing. Well, Kelly, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out a little bit longer. And uh, thank you, Casey. Thank you, all the fans, for watching. Should we say Should we say hi to the fans one more time? A quick yes. shout out to all of them. Okay, fans, this is your chance. Type your name in the comments, and Kelly's going to oh, okay. say say hi to you as quick as possible. We'll I go for like we'll go for like thirty God, seconds. So many comments. I, Sorry. it's crazy. No one slapped like Stephanie. It's so true. Okay. Where's the names? Okay. They're coming. Yeah. They're coming. Here's okay. Tanya. Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Bruno. Uh, hi. Thank you. Darnell. Hi. Bye, Misty. Thanks for coming on here, Misty. Eleanor. Hi, Rue. And Mona uh, from Montreal, Dan. Dan, Stephen, Jeremy, Danny. Oh my God, I can't say them all. Heather, hi, Billy, Bruce, <laughs> Brenda. We got Brenda. Barbados. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, Kyle Baxter. Hi, Kyle. Josh. Barbados, Josh. Oh. Billy, Giovanna, Kyle. Darnell, Bruno. I mean, said Bruno. How many Brunos are there on here? Bruno's Alice, a big fan. Chelsea, Marco, Vanessa, Donna, Thomas, Mandy, Adam. Hello to everybody. Thank you guys right. so much for joining right. us and having fun with us here on Bold Live. And thank you, Casey. You're wonderful. All right. Thank you, Kelly. And you have a great <laughs> weekend. Say hi to Dom. And uh, everybody, check out Ben Hart on, yes. uh, on social All right. media. All right. Yeah, have, there. have a great night. Bye, Kelly. Oh, wow. That was a lot of fun. I, and I love, I, I, I try to, I try to be in the moment and uh, interview the guests, but I'm also reading all your comments. And even if I don't comment back, I'm reading them and I love it. And I, um, yes, my mom was a great sport. I'm glad she came on the show. We'll have her on more. Maybe next time she can talk for uh, 10 seconds. You know, I'm going to give her a little bit more each time. And, you know, it's a, this is a, this is a new thing. You've got to build up a, a, a little, a little rapport, but, um, that was so much fun. We're going to have to have more of Kelly on the show. And uh, and good questions. All you guys that called in today, really good questions for Kelly. That was a lot of fun. Um, so now I'm going to play a new video. This is kind of my outro video, which I'm going to just tell you all uh, as we end the show. Be bold. Be beautiful. And be back here next week for an all new Bold Live. All right. See you guys, be safe, 
and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.